stencil tutorial with practical example welcome to coding locker guys this is chandkashwaryani this is a playlist in what we are learning stencil with the beginning and with very, very practical solutions so so far we have seen that how do we create the components how we reuse the component how do we apply the styling how do we enable the buttons how do we actually fetch the data from the apis as well and this is the api which we have used right this is the dummy api and now this is a time that we learn about that how do we do the communication communication sort of let's suppose you have uh, multiple components and you want to raise some event from uh, x component and you want other component to listen that event right so this is we will cover as a this for this part so so far we have just one single component so at first we have to create another uh, component so let me uh, quickly jump to the code and by the way if you are already following the playlist then you must be having the code if you do not have the code it's still no issue you can get the exact code from the github location i'll be sharing the link in the description i have not removed the code which is not now actually in use but i'm just keeping just for the reference sake right so that you can uh, get all the code from the github so quickly right click on the new uh, component click on new folder and let's suppose create a search word folder here so uh, for this to, uh, tutorial what i'll do i'll make use of this uh, search api let me click on this right and what it does basically based on some key whatever the key you pass it will search and it will return you some result so i'll create one component here i'll create one text box and there will there will be a one button click of button whatever mentioned in the text box we will uh, make a request to this api and we'll display the result in a some sort of grid or in the table format so that's what i'm going to do so i have created one folder called uh, search world let me create two files you must be familiar with now search world dot tsx not ts tsx and similarly let me create another file which is search dot css okay we have now two files now we have to create the component so now to create the components again i will not waste time in the syntax we already have some code at first you ha always have to import we have seen so you have to import component prop you will be using state you will be using an h in order to uh, support for the jsx thereafter you have to use the uh, add grid add grid component decorator so that you can create the component so search word this is the tag i have added this is the style sheet path and shadow too we have in detail understood what is the difference between shadow and the scope and which one we should be using so i'm using shadow this time and then we have to export the class like this and that is all we have to do now here before the render method few of the properties i we have to create of course the first property i have to create uh, this one search text so this is the input which we will take from the outside of the component that's why this is now with add prop and then there will be one object i'll be creating let me show you the uh, api at first so what api result it gives me it gives me the best matches which has multiple columns symbol name type right so out of these one or two columns i'll be displaying in the grid view so for that i have to create an array so i have created search result array which has two properties name and market open so name and market op open these are the two properties i'll be showing and this is a type of uh, what we say the array now next we should have uh, uh, one method which would actually call our api and after the api we have to store the value in the search result so again this is the method search from api do not worry about the syntaxes we have in detail learned when we are actually working uh, to this component mycard.tsx so the syntax is pretty much same we are using this fetch there is a uh, what we say the keyword then we have this search text available with here after that let me remove this after that on that then we have this result converting the json then we have parsed result we are fetching getting the best matches from out of this and we are running the dot map loop and storing in the variable so simply what we have done so far we have added one array we have uh, called the api and stored the data inside that api in the variable actually in the array now next is we have to display or render this in the table component or in the list component and after that we just have to render the method so let me show you the render method as it is 
So this is my render method. Here we are. In the render method, we have this main div, main class div. We have uh, now very familiar that this is a JSX. And then uh, we'll have this input text box, right? Which is uh, which is set the value to search text. We have again seen the how we actually achieve the two-way data binding uh, with this when we worked on uh, here for the text box, right? And then it is uh, asking or calling one method on input on user input. So we have to create one method as well so that we can set the value as well. So let me just paste one method as well. And let me press Control Shift F as well. So after that, you should have one more property, I guess, which is the state type. Again, we are familiar that what is the difference between string prop why i'm using straight y not prop so that we we are actually we want to render the component each time whenever we update something from the database from the uh, api actually so this is on user input then we have this text box available the initial value is search text and then we have binded one method on click of the button we are calling this api and here is a simple table and which is returning the data here so let me see what else is missing i think we all are good we have to just call this and to how do we call copy this tag one sorry copy the tag go to your index file and in the index one here we can simply call this method or the component perfect also we have seen it is expecting one parameter and the parameter name is search text so let's provide any search text as well search text bmw perfect this would actually call our search word component and i have missed the equals to sign we'll call this bmw search word and here you would see it will fetch the data in the search text now after that all good all good we have this render method let me do a control c and do the npm start see what we have and let at first let it build even just avoid any error just let it check okay seems like all good let it run in the browser in that case okay let me close this one now Okay, we cannot see our component. Let me refresh this. I still cannot see my component. I have to check this file. This is all good. I have to check the index.html. And this is all good. I should see my component. Here we are. But uh, seems like, let's see whether it is working. Yes, it is working, but we don't have the styling. Let's add the styling as well to search word dot css and again i have the css with me so i have just pasted it and let it refresh and see do we have any difference in the output here we are click on search it we have the data test search it we have the data so this is we wanted to achieve now next what what we discuss that i want to pass the data from this component to this component now you see these are the two different components we have my card and the my uh, search word right so what i'll do i'll add a click event on a on a this row and maybe and i'll get the output of the input whatever is written here and will display here in the text box so this is what we will do and that i'll do in the next part so far we have just provided the structure let's continue in the next part i don't want to make a long videos right so let's continue a different one thank you for being at coding locker guys if you have any queries please do let me know thanks